Okay, everybody, today we're going to talk about how to repath to a new data source. So you can see in my map, uh, it looked good uh, earlier, but now I have all these little red exclamation marks beside my uh, layers. That means it cannot find the data to where it is supposed to be. So we're going to have to update uh, our data paths. So you can check this if you pick one of the uh, layers that has the red exclamation mark. Right click on it and go into the properties of that layer. You can then select the data source tab. It tells you the name of the feature class is hospital and it should be located uh, in the reading.gdb folder. Okay, now uh, if I go ahead and take a look in my file explorer, I can see that uh, in the D folder there is no Reading GDB. It does not match. So here it's looking for uh, D Reading File GDB. In my file explorer, there is no such folder under the D drive. So that's why it cannot find that location. Uh, and I remember what I did is I moved it into a new folder called uh, new folder and uh, there's the Reading GDB uh, database that it's looking for. So these two paths don't match. This one up here does not match the path here. So what you can do is you can manually repath the data source uh, one by one if you like and you can go set data source this way and you can browse out to where your data is located and that is in the new folder writing GDB and I can as you can see it's uh, I'm looking for a feature class called hospital so if I go into that GDB file I can select hospital and then say add and then OK and it'll find all my my data uh, you would have to do that for each and every one now you might want to do that you might want to do them all at once if you have a whole bunch and the easiest way to do that is you can right click on your uh, find out which of your MXD files you currently have open and that MXD file is called Reading MXD and uh, I go over to my catalog and I find that MXD in the list and I simply right click on that MXD file and I go set data sources so in this box here I can see that it's looking for that file path for all of those uh, layers. I'm going to go select all and I'm going to go replace all. And uh, so I can type in the new path here if I like. So I could go D Reading uh, new folder if you like. Or if you had a longer path, uh, you could go into your uh, Windows Explorer and actually find the location new folder writing GDB and actually open up that GDB file and then copy the address so you can just copy and paste the address into the uh, replace box I'm going to go copy address as text from Windows Explorer and then uh, I go back to ArcMap and I simply just go replace with and I hit uh, paste and there's my new path and I click replace all and it's going to replace the old path with the new path over here. Now when I say OK, what it does is it makes a new MXD file. So the old MXD file that I currently have open, Reading MXD, uh, nothing changes in that, but I would have to open up the copy of Reading MXD. And if I just uh, double click on it, I don't need to save the changes to the original map, but I click on the copy and there's all my data and you can see that the little red exclamation marks are gone and our fold, our data is repathed to the correct location. And of course, don't forget to save your MXD file uh, so it saves those new paths. Okay, thank you.